going on? Gun is alive. Coming at you with another video. I posted a video yesterday where I said I'm going to be uploading Q&A and this is going to be that video. I went through the comments section, picked out a bunch of the questions that you all asked me and I'm going to be answering them right here right now in this video. I posted one Q&A a long time ago. I'll post a link in the description box of this video to that video so you can check it out if you want because some of the questions are different. But for now, let's just go ahead and get to it. Question number one coming from Andrew to first and question. What made you start live streaming and will you ever get a PS5 when it's released? For those of you that don't know, the two main systems that I use right now are the Xbox One and the Xbox 360. I've never actually owned a PlayStation before, and I do plan on getting a PlayStation at some point in the future. I know my boy Beto a few weeks ago, he mentioned that when he gets the new PlayStation that comes out later this year, he'd be looking to sell his old PlayStation 4, and then I might buy that off of him for like 150 bucks or something. But as far as the PS5 goes, I don't know when that console is going to be released. I got to assume at some point in the future, it will come out. Somebody go ahead and say yes, I will probably get a PS5 when it comes out. Question number two comes from Pug Fate. Will you ever stop playing softball? Not trying to be mean. I love softball vids and also what age do you think? As of right now, I have no plans of stopping playing softball. I know a few people on my team have mentioned they'd like to go to a different league that's like more competitive, but I have fun going out to the field on Tuesday nights, playing with my team, playing all the different positions, first, second, third, shortstop, pitcher, outfield, catcher, it doesn't matter. I also have a lot of fun hitting home runs. But as of now, no, I don't have any plans of stopping softball. So therefore, I can't really answer the question about what age do I think I would probably stop playing. But if I did stop playing, I'd say it probably wouldn't be because I want to stop, it's probably because like the team overall stops playing. Like once I don't play with my friends, then I wouldn't want to play with like some random people or something like that. So as long as my friends are cool with playing softball, I'm gonna keep playing. I have fun. Question number three comes from Ziontaz Gaming. Do you play different video games off video slash stream? What I mean is you play different video games that you don't make a vid or a stream. When I first started making the YouTube videos, yes, I did play different games aside from the games that I played while making videos. But ever since I started live streaming, I'd say probably like 85 or 90% of the time when I do play video games, I have the live stream rocking and rolling so I can interact with you all. The other 10 to 15% of the time when I'm not actually streaming, I'm still playing the same games that I play for streams it's just usually I'm making videos so whether it's like the story mode for GTA 5 I play that off stream but I'm still recording a video if I'm playing maybe some H1Z1 I can know last night we were actually waiting because we we're gonna eat dinner in about 30 minutes and I hopped online played with Rao for a few games and also Happy Slappy and also the Black Ops campaign series that I'm doing right now on my channel I play that off stream right I record a video but it's still like Call of Duty that's what I play in the streams and for videos so to fully answer the direct question pretty much every game I I play right now for either streams or videos are the only games I play. I don't have any other games set to the side that I don't record videos for or stream. You guys have seen all the games that I have. Question number four comes from Glitzy Pine. What is your favorite video game and what would you prefer? Supercars, sports cars, muscle cars. At the moment, my favorite video game to play is probably Grand Theft Auto 5. There's just so much to do within the game. Right now, I know I'm making the videos for the story mode. I'm having a ton of fun playing the story mode for the first time. Whenever I go online during live streams, we can do stunt races, we can do bunker missions, we can do heists, we can just free roam around the city. GTA 5 is just so vast and complex. There's a ton of different game modes within the game that I have fun playing and I'm constantly updating and adding new stuff to the game, which is cool. So GTA 5 is my single favorite video game to play right now. My favorite video game series of all time though that would be the Halo series so Halo CE, Halo 2, 3, even 4 kinda, Halo Reach, Halo 5, Halo ODST, not so much Halo Wars or Halo Wars 2 but like the first person shooter games of Halo that is my favorite game series of all time. I played that so much like I probably have weeks if not months of game time logged within Halo alone. Would I prefer a supercar, sports car, or muscle car? I'd probably go with a supercar. Keep in mind I currently own a sports car which is the GT Mustang convertible. It's amazing. I love it. And classic muscle cars, they look cool and they also have loud engines most of the time. But I think I'd have to go with the supercar. Just the advanced technology, fast speed, cool looks, and just the fact that how exotic some of them are. I'm gonna go ahead and say I prefer to have a supercar. Maybe one day I'll have one. Who knows? That's why we stay grinding. Question number five. That comes from Jose Lorenzo. What other games do you have? Parentheses, names, close parentheses. 
Well, let me show you something, Jose Lorenzo. I have a stack of games right here next to my Xbox and my setup area. These are the games I've been playing lately. So I've been doing Black Ops for campaign series on my channel. I have Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Combo. I played quite a bit of Modern Warfare Remastered during the live stream. I've been practicing Madden 17, getting ready for Madden 18 that's coming out later this month. Halo 5, part of my favorite game series of all time. Play that during live streams. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 backwards compatible now I've been playing that over the past few weeks. Call of Duty Black Ops 3, the jetpack game. You guys seem to enjoy watching this during the stream. You all can interact with me with any game, so I do play it some. And then Halo Master Chief Collection, I play this occasionally. And then I believe in my Xbox right now, I actually have the GTA 5 disc. So these are the main games that I'm currently playing at the moment. We got some new games coming out this year. Destiny 2, Madden 18, FIFA 18, Call of Duty World War 2, NBA 2K, Player Unknown Battlegrounds. So I'm gonna be playing a lot of those games, but check out a bunch of the cases that I have. So this is just some of my Xbox 360 and Xbox One games. I got 2K16, the original COD 4, I mean, Advanced Warfare, Madden 16, Destiny, Halo ODST, Modern Warfare 2, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5, Halo 4, there's a GTA case, Call of Duty World at War, I mean, you guys can just see exactly how many game cases I have. Halo 3, Halo Reach, Halo Wars, Halo Anniversary, Halo 2, GTA for the Xbox One. And then in this box, there's even more game cases. Like when I buy games, I keep them in case I want to play them at a later time. I don't go sell games back because in my opinion, they don't give you enough money for them. So I just might as well keep them. But all of these games, this is my brother's. He plays Star Wars, Jedi Outcast, NBA 2K6 with Shaquille O'Neal on the cover. NBA 2K5, this is my favorite 2K ever, y'all, 2K5. We got UFC, Undisputed. We got a motocross game, MX2002, The Sims 2, Mario Golf, Command & Conquer. I mean, we got Yu-Gi-Oh! on the Nintendo GameCube, NHL 12, James Bond from Russia with Love, Greg's Hastings Tournament Paintball. Like this whole box, that's just only some of the games along with some of the games in that drawer that me and my brother have played in the past. Like, I'm a gamer, guys. Y'all are gamers, most of you. It's what we do. It's what we have. It's what I have fun playing, video games. So I didn't show you every single game case that I've ever played or owned or have, but I hope that answers your question. Question number six comes from Farron. He says, what is the first gaming console you had and what's your favorite food? So we're gonna get this right out of the way real quick. My favorite food, I like crunchy food. Most of the time Mexican food like tacos or something. But I mean hot wings with like a coating on them that are crunchy or some fried chicken. Even spicy nacho Doritos. I mean I just like crunchy food, that's my favorite. The more traditional answer I'd say would be Mexican food. Tacos, burritos, enchiladas, chips and salsa. The first gaming console I ever owned, it was actually a Super Nintendo. The games that me and my brother had on there, it was like a Baja racing game, off-road sort of deal. And then we also had NBA Live, one of the older versions. I played a few PC games before I had a console but the question says console and that's what it was so super nintendo question number seven comes from one of the newest mods on the channel greg one question gunners i know you already have a real life job or probably want to make this into career who knows anyways my question to you is colon what do you think you'd be doing if youtube didn't exist at all and if you have time to answer another what are some crazy YouTube moments you had? You said what? My mom said she liked the question. There's also three thumbs up on this question, so it looks like some of y'all liked it all. If I wasn't doing YouTube, I'd probably spend a lot more time playing sports. Because I know whenever I was in college and I was going to school and I was still working part-time and I was like going to the gym, golf was one of the main things that I did. I'd play golf for like a couple hours a day, five or six times a week. And then before I started playing golf, I'd always go outside with my friends and we'd throw the football around or we'd play basketball or we'd like hit the baseball in the street or throw the baseball around. So some sort of recreation sports that's what I'd be doing if I didn't do YouTube as much as I did like every single day I'd still have a real job and everything but with like my free time I'd spend it going to the gym and also playing a lot more outside sports or even inside sports basketball at the gym I guess but that's sort of the path that I took right I'd hang out with my friends a bunch we do like some sports whether it be like the basketball the football or the baseball like I said we go swimming at my friend's house and then I sort of got into golf I did a lot of that by myself and I do that for hours and hours and hours a day and then I don't really ever go out and play golf anymore and I spend a lot of my extra free time now with YouTube making videos 
videos and doing live streams. And for your second question that you asked, what are some crazy YouTube moments I've had? Well, I'd say the craziest is probably when I ate the ghost pepper during a live stream. That was like 30 minutes of just what the heck is going on. I ate the ghost pepper back when the channel hit 250 subscribers. It was honestly like so hot, I couldn't talk for like a minute or so. I was drinking a bunch of water, a bunch of milk, eating some crackers. That's definitely the craziest single moment that I've had. Another crazy moment was probably the night whenever the live stream was most lit. We got over 100 new subscribers on the channel and we got like 112 or 113, 14, 115 likes or something like that on the live stream. That was just a whole bunch of fun and motivated me to keep going and going and going. And I hope that the channel can keep growing so that can become like a constant thing every single day or night whenever I do a live stream. Question number eight coming from Liam all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. I have two questions, he says. How did you actually meet Gizmo who makes races? Question mark. What information would you give people who want to start YouTube? So to answer your first question, how do we meet Gizmo? It's actually crazy. So one night, me and some of you all were in a party on Xbox Live just playing free roam. And someone in the party, I believe this is how it happened. Someone in the party said, hey, I have some stunt races that I customized and made. Do you guys want to play them? And I didn't know who it was. It turned out to be Gizmo. I thought it was someone else's friend in the party. But somehow, I didn't know him. Nobody else in the party knew him. And he got in there. I have no idea how. But he was talking to us. And all of a sudden, he started hosting up the races. And they were legit. So just over time, like we've become really, really good friends. So that's how we met Gizmo. He was in the Xbox party talking to us. I have no idea how he got there. Nobody else knows how he got there because nobody else knew him. And he just turned out to be like a really cool guy. The second question you asked is, what information would you give people who want to start YouTube? And the answer is, you just start. If you don't have the equipment to make gaming videos, then start making like other types of videos. If you have a cell phone, you can record I recommend holding it long ways like this as opposed to vertical like this but just record put the software in a computer put it together into a video format and then if you like the way it turns out you can post it to YouTube if you don't like the way it turns out the worst case scenario is you don't post it but it all starts with recording just pull out your phone if you have a camera pull it out just start recording and then make a video if you like what it is upload it it's that simple your videos might be terrible at first I look back at some of my first videos and I'm like, ah, they weren't that good, you know? But the more videos you make, the more you learn, the better you get at making videos. So if you want to start YouTube, just go ahead, start recording because you need footage. And then once you record, edit, if you like what it turns into, then upload. I believe this is question number nine. Maskman38 Wolf asks, do you watch other YouTubers and try to support your favorites? And the answer is 100% yes. You know, when I first started watching YouTube, I watched a lot of big channels, a lot of the guys in Optic Gaming, a lot of the guys and phase some of the vloggers like Roman Atwood or Casey Neistat. Of course, yes, I support all of those channels, but over time, as I've been streaming more and more, I've gotten to know a lot of you all, and it just so happens that some of you all do live stream. Like I know Jeremiah Jones, aka J live streams, you got Young Simba, he live streams, Real live streams, Black Knight live streams, Mina live streams. I try to support their channels as much as I can. I've seen Burrs upload some videos that I've checked out in the past. Jonah Bob's uploaded some videos that I checked out in the past. Other of you have uploaded videos that I've checked out in the past. So I try to show as much support as I can. Question number 10 from Jeremiah Jones said for the real question is when are you going to set up donation link a few of you guys have been asking me this in the past so since I hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube I am now eligible to set up super chat so you all can donate certain amounts of money to the live stream if you want I haven't set it up yet though I was planning on doing it but I decided you know what let's just go ahead and hold off I do have a full-time real job in real life right now that I make money from and right now I'm just having a bunch of fun making YouTube videos and hosting live streams on the daily so I'm just gonna stay on my grind and then one day I will set up a donation link when I feel the time is right. I appreciate you guys that are wanting to donate. Just save your money for now. I will set up a link eventually. It's just right now, I just, I don't want to do it yet. It's just not, it's not the right time. With as far as I want to go on YouTube, with the things the channels are like 1,412 subscribers at the time of me recording this video, there's a long ways to go. A lot of future ahead. So we'll just hold off for now. No need to rush anything. Question number 11 comes from Blackjack. And the comment is edited, so I don't know what it said before. But at least now it says, why do you start to post your videos? And do you have a favorite band? Question mark, parentheses, hi from Mexico close parentheses to answer your question about why do I start to post videos I saw some other youtubers that I enjoyed watching their content and I felt like I could have fun making content because I was already playing video games so I decided to go ahead and post some gameplays online to YouTube and I had fun posting the gameplays I had fun recording I had fun editing I had fun posting I had fun playing so I just kept going and going and going and going and going and now I started even vlogging basically every single day also I started talking to a lot more people meeting a lot of cool people online so basically to sum up the question I 
saw the people doing something that I enjoyed watching, which happened to be YouTube videos and also live streams, so I decided to go ahead and start making videos and live streams. And as far as my favorite band goes, I used to listen to a lot of Sum 41 and Green Day. I don't really listen to that much anymore by them. I've been listening to a lot of Logic lately, some NF. Those are just like single artists that are part of the team. There was one band I was listening to the other day. I forgot who it was now. It was like an older band too that I hadn't heard in a long time and I heard them on the radio and I searched them up. But I'm gonna go ahead and say Green Day and Sum 41. I listened to them quite a bit years and years and years ago. I listened to them like, eh, not so much anymore, but still, their music's really good. And you also said hi from Mexico. I'm gonna say hola, amigo. Como estas? I took three years of Spanish in school and I barely learned anything, guys. Question number 12 comes from Walnut. What are you guns do when you hit 10,000 subs and are you going to remember the people before you blew up with subs? When I hit 10,000 subs, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a challenge video or anything like that. I know I'm definitely going to keep grinding, daily uploads, daily live streams. 10,000 will happen eventually, just got to stay on the grind. So I appreciate all the support you all show. And yes, I'm going to remember all of you Walnut, you've been here for at least a year now. I can just name a bunch of other people also, Sony, Ace, Cheeky, Spike. Those are just a few people that have been supporting the channel for a long time. There's some of the newer people like Courtney, Greg, Newt. There's a lot of you all. There's 1,412 subs on the channel right now. For the time I'm making this video so yes I remember people's names whenever they come back up in the live stream I say hello ask them how they're doing and we've got to know each other over time and I'll continue to have conversations and interact with all of you guys that's why I call myself the most interactive streamer question number 13 it comes from birds will you remember us OGs you want to get big yes I guess I followed up with what Juan I just said I remember the OGs that have been supporting the channel for a long time Whoever would come around whenever I only got two or three viewers, when I only got like 10 or 15 views on a video. You know, the channel was growing, but you guys have remained constant, so yes, I remember the OGs 100%. Question number 14 comes from Hectic. Is YouTube your future dog? I certainly hope so. I don't know if it'll be full time or just part time as part of whatever I want to do as the bigger picture is concerned, but yes, YouTube definitely has a spot in the future for my full-time job. I'd say yes. Just gotta stay grinding. Just gotta stay grinding. Question number 15 comes from Hectic again. Who motivated me to start YouTube? So I believe I sort of answered this question a little earlier on. But whenever I first started making YouTube videos, I was in college. I had a lot of time in between my classes because I may only have like one class in the morning at 8.30 and then another class at like one o'clock. So in between those two classes that I have time to go to the library and sit on my computer when I finish my homework and I start watching YouTube videos. And I watch a lot of guys from Opic, a lot of guys from Faze, some of the vloggers. So some of the biggest channels that you see on YouTube that are the ones that motivated me. I mean, you see Roman Atwood, Casey Neistat, the members of Octa Gaming, members of the Face Clan, and that only is a few of the YouTubers that motivated me to start. I believe this is question number 16. That's 16. I don't have that many fingers, guys. But well, question number 16 by Hillary Clinton, aka Nuggets Nation, says favorite Logic mixtape and album. So for mixtape, I'm gonna go with Welcome to Forever. I think I said possibly a while back that it was undeniable but it is definitely now 100% welcome to forever for the mixtape and then as far as the album goes I'd say the Under Pressure album, his first album. I listen to that more than I do The Incredible True Story or Everybody. So Under Pressure and Welcome to Forever. Question number 17, once again from Hillary Clinton, AKA Nuggets, what is life? Ball is life, bro, isn't it? Don't you play basketball? You should know this. Question number 18 comes from Michael Plays. Would you date a girl or boy? I'd 100% date a girl. Question number 19 also from Michael Plays. What would you do if a hacker hacked you more subs than PewDiePie? Well, I don't really know what I'd do. It'd be kind of weird. It'd be cool to see the number next to my name as far as like the number of subs goes, but it'd be fake. I know it'd be fake, so I'd probably just be like waiting around for the hack to get reversed and go back to my actual sub count, right? Because I want active users on the channel. I don't want a bunch of fake bots. So if you got hacked with more subs than PewDiePie, it'd be a bunch of fake bots. And and that's not what I'm about. Question number 20 comes from Vivo. Hi, bro. My question is, which camera do you use and have you made that dish yet? So I use either my cell phone or I use my Canon G7X Mark II or I use my GoPro Hero 4 Silver, which is actually over my backpack. You can see it over here, right there. It's in the pocket of my backpack. So those are the three main cameras that I use. I carry my G7X around with me almost all the time. I have my phone with me 100% all the time for me like a quick shot. And then a lot of time at the gym whenever I'm recording like some of the basketball stuff or if I'm recording some of the weights that I'm lifting then I'll record that with the GoPro just because I can set it up it's small and easy to move around and set up and no I haven't made the dish yet yes I still remember about it I've talked to my mom about it we'll make it eventually I know you've been waiting for a while but nope haven't made it yet definitely will though next question comes from Abel do you like soccer gunner and the answer is yes I 100% like soccer I played for years and years and years growing up I haven't played a FIFA game in a long time but I'm gonna definitely be buying FIFA 8 
2018 this year playing during live streams and also for videos and then i think the world cup is coming up sometime it might be next year next summer possibly i'm actually on google right now 2018 fifa world cup from russia so that's cool the dates will be june 14th 2018 through july 15th 2018 looks like so yep i'm definitely hyped up for the world cup next summer i do like playing soccer i do like watching soccer even though i'm not like a big watcher i'd much rather play than watch but i'll definitely be checking out the world cup when it comes around next question from g dog double g zero four g e d do you wish to have a good and happy life or a bad and terrible life so i wish to have a good and happy life right but you can't just wish you also got to make it happen so what i do every day right now on a day-to-day -day basis is i make sure i have one fun doing whatever i'm doing and two, that I'm sort of like benefiting myself or my family in a positive way. Make sure that not only my life is good and happy, but hopefully theirs is as well. Preparing for the future, that's what I like to say. Because right now I'm just single, doing my thing, living at home. I go to work, make some money, then I come home and I grind YouTube. Well, I guess actually like I go to the gym after work and then I come home and grind YouTube. But 100% yeah, good and happy life for me, my family, my dogs. Hopefully you guys have a good and happy life too. It's not really any point in having a bad and terrible life. As long as you can control the situation, you can make it good and happy. Another Another question from G-Dog, double G, zero, four, G-E-D. Do you ever want to have kids? Yeah, 100% I want to have kids. You know, right now I have two dogs. They're my homies, they're my boys. One day, once I find like the right woman, get married, set her down, have some kids. I want to say I want to have at least two kids, maybe three, maybe four, but at least two, yeah? What about you? Do you want to have kids? Do you have dogs? But yeah, kids would be cool to have, fun to raise, grow the family. Another question from JJ Boy Miles. What would you do if you hit 50K? And the answer is I keep on grinding with a daily uploads the daily live streams no stop inside keep on going because after we hit 50k and hopefully we hit 51 and 52 and 53 and 54 and 55 and we just keep on going i'd probably do some sort of challenge video for 50,000. i don't know exactly what it would be but maybe i'll have to figure something out i got a ways to go so i got a lot of time to think about it but 50k that number just looks sweet hopefully one day we hit it another question by jj boy moss how old am i i'm 26 years young april 22nd that's when i was born 1991 if you do the math Calculate the days, years, months, whatever it comes out to 26 years young, three months, and 22 days, I believe. Moving on now to a question from Cool Gamer 64. Sorry to ask this, but why do you still live with your mom? Sorry if I hurt your feelings, but I'm just curious, bro. No, you didn't hurt my feelings. So the reason behind me still living at home when I'm 26 is whenever I was 18, I finished high school, right? I went away to college for two years. I lived on my own in an apartment, and then I transferred college just back to like my hometown where I live in Houston, Texas. And then my last couple years in college, I just went ahead and lived at home so I could save up some money, right? So that when I finished college, I'd be able to buy a house, which I actually was able to. So then when I finished college, I was 24 years old. I bought a house in a different city called San Antonio, Texas. It's about three hours away from where I live now. I had a full-time job there. I was set. I was ready to go. Like I said, I bought a house. It was legit. Single story house. I actually have a video. I'll have to post it sometime. It was a house tour. And then after working for the company that I got hired on by after college for only a few months they ended up laying me off so what I did is I moved back to Houston where I currently live now I sold my house because I didn't need to have it in another city right I wasn't gonna live there and then rather than buy another house here in Houston where I'm currently at now or spend money on an apartment I just decided to go ahead and move back in with my parents so you know I love my family I get to live with them my dogs are here I get to take them on a walk every day along with playing with them a bunch and then I don't have to pay like a mortgage which you got to pay for a house every single month and I don't got to pay like money monthly rent on an apartment that's an absurd amount of money because if you think about it Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday I wake up in the morning and I leave at like around 6 30 in the morning to go to work so then if I go to work and I go to the gym by the time I get home at night it's usually between well we'll just say it's at what 7 30 or so so if i leave around 6 30 in the morning get home around 7 30 at night that's 13 hours out of the day that i'd be paying for either a house or an apartment to just sit there i wouldn't be doing anything there. i wouldn't be spending any time there i'd just be paying money to have it sit there and not be used and then if i go to bed at say like one o'clock in the morning and i wake up at around six that's another five hours so if we take the 13 hours that I'm at work at the gym and add five hours to it that comes out to 18 hours a day where I just have a house or an apartment and not really be doing anything like yes I'd be sleeping there but I wouldn't be like living there It'd just be like a place that I'm staying if that makes sense so like 75% of the day I'd be paying 
a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred dollars or maybe even like two thousand dollars a month for something that I'm not even using so it'd be just a huge waste of money so what I do is I currently just live at home with my parents and I'm continuing to save money like I did back when I was in college so here in a few years or something like that I can go ahead and I can buy another house my parents are cool with me staying here I'm cool with staying here we all get along and also just moving back in the video for a minute I was talking about like 18 hours a day I'm either at work at the gym or sleeping so I'm not doing anything here at the house I'd say the other six hours then I'm grinding YouTube so I'm pretty much at my desk here most of that time yeah I do some stuff around the house right but most of the time I'm here at my desk YouTube videos YouTube live streams so there's just not really any point in me having my own place right now it'd be a waste of money in my opinion so I'm just gonna go ahead save my money continue to live here at home for a while and then in a few years I'll end up buying another house at least that's the plan for now next question comes from Logan Garner if your softball team splits up what's going to happen to softball Tuesdays like more streams or another sport I sort of answered this question earlier on if the team splits up pretty much I probably stop playing softball just because the people that I'm on a team with now they're my friends right we all get along I wouldn't want to go play with another team that's people I don't know yes I could get to know them over time but part of the reason like we made a softball team now is because we had a bunch of friends that wanted to get together and have a good time playing in a league so that's what we did so if the team breaks up and the main reason for us forming a team wouldn't be there anymore and then I just wouldn't play anymore. I don't see our team splitting up though. We may go play in like a different league that's a little bit more competitive sometime, but I'm having fun from what I'm hearing from the other people on the team. They seem to be having fun, so I don't think we're gonna plan on splitting up anytime soon. To answer the other part of your question, like more streams or another sport, I don't know, maybe there'd be like a basketball league. That'd be kind of cool, like an indoor basketball league at the gym around the area where we live in. I definitely would keep the streams going though, whether it be softball, basketball league, some other sort of league, or even gaming videos for live stream now, like I already do the other nights throughout the week. But to exactly answer your question, if the softball team splits up, what's gonna happen to softball Tuesdays, then they would come to an end. But that's only if the team splits up. I don't see that happening. And the streams are gonna continue to answer the other part of your question. The next question from United Bullets, AKA Faded Warfare. Have you ever thought about deleting your YouTube channel? And the answer is yes. I have thought about it, just like what would happen if I deleted my channel? What would have been the point of all the time and effort and work that I put into the channel? How would I feel about deleting it? How would other people I know in real life feel about me deleting it? How would you all feel about me deleting it? So I mean, yeah, I have thought about it. You always gotta think about every single scenario that possibly could happen. Do I plan on deleting my channel? No, absolutely not. But just in case, like, what if I deleted it? Or what if YouTube automatically deleted it? Then like, what would happen? Yes, I have thought about it, but no, I don't plan on deleting it. Next question comes from Craw Killer. Am I annoying? Dot, dot, dot. What PC games will you play in the future? Question mark parentheses hopefully CS close parentheses so no you're not annoying croc killer I know you asked me if I'm gonna play CS a lot yes I will play some it won't be the most played game on my channel but I will play some at some point in the future just like I have in the past so I will play CS a little bit you guys that don't know CS is for Counter-Strike the main Counter-Strike game right now is CS GO or Counter-Strike Global Offensive so I will play that at some point in the future other games that I have on PC are Minecraft and H1Z1 I don't plan on getting that players unknown battleground at all for PC. I heard it's coming out for the Xbox later this year, so I will snag it up then if it does. And I hope that answers your question, sir. Next question is from King Joseph, and he asks, this is the Q&A question, colon, how old is your dog in dog years and normal years? So I have two dogs, Dodger and Tucker. Dodger, he is 12 years old in normal years, and if you multiply 12 by 7, because for every normal year, that's supposed to be like 7 dog years, so 12 normal years times seven dog years you come out with 84 the so Dodgers 12 normal years 84 dog years and then our other dog Tucker he is five so five normal years that comes out to 35 dog years because five times seven is 35 and if I was in dog years I'm 26 normal years so 26 times seven that comes out to be what is it you got 26 52 78 104, 130, 156, 182? I believe that's right. So I'm 26 normal years, 
So 182 dog years. That's what I'd be. Next up from Rohan, we have in your live stream copyright claimed and your live stream that you streamed is blocked. So this isn't really a question, guys. It's more of a statement, but for those of you that don't know, if I'm playing copyrighted music during the live stream, then YouTube can either one, mute the audio from the entire live stream whenever it's posted on my channel, and then I can choose to have that portion of the video that contains the copyrighted music audios removed, and then that way the video is still up on the channel just with the audio from that one portion removed, that way it's not copyrighted anymore, or if whoever the claimant of the copyrighted music is chooses, I can leave my video public for you all to watch but if any revenue is generated from the video then they would make the money because they hold the copyright for the song so for example last night I looked at the stream once it was done on YouTube and there was a bunch of copyright music in the live stream because I had song requests going on with Nightbot and one song got the entire audio muted for the live stream. So what I did, all I had to do was click a button on YouTube, it removed the song from the live stream that's posted. So that two, three, four minutes of video, it'll be muted now, there won't be any audio with the video footage, but the rest of the video, the audio will still be posted, it's just, because some of the other songs were copyrighted, if there is revenue generated, I won't make the money. Whoever holds the copyright claim for the songs, they would make the money. If you didn't understand what I said, you still have questions, leave a comment on this video and I'll answer it for you. But that's the best way that I can explain it right here, right now. Got a question from Necknor. What car you have and what made me start YouTube? So I'm inside right now, but you can see my car in the driveway. Guys, that is my 2000 red GT Mustang convertible manual transmission. I've had that car ever since I was 16 years old. I love it. It's amazing. It's fast. It's sporty. It sounds good. It looks good, it feels good, comfortable sitting inside. And then what made me start YouTube is that, like I said earlier on, whenever I was in college between classes, hey Tucker, <laughs> no I just walked in, but whenever I was in college between classes, after I finished like my homework, whatever, I'd just be chilling in the library board, sitting there on my computer, and I'd be watching some other people's YouTube videos, I enjoyed the content I saw them making, and I decided to give it a try for myself. And I enjoy making videos now, I enjoy hosting live streams, so it's what I've been doing for the past couple years now. Next question comes from South Georgia Technical College asking, where do you see yourself in five years? So in five years, I hope that obviously my YouTube channel has grown a lot, you know, as far as uploading videos and hosting live streams is concerned, I'm going to continue to stay on the grind. The grind never stops. We've seen growth on the channel already over the past few weeks months and years so the possibility for the channel to blow up is there hopefully it does I think if I continue what I'm doing now and keep going and grinding and learning more and putting more time and effort into YouTube and getting better at my craft then the possibility to blow up is certainly there I hope to be bigger and stronger you know I hit the gym quite a bit lifting weights but just continuing to live a healthy lifestyle I hope I keep doing that I plan on doing that having a good relationship with my family and my friends in five years you know I want to build those relationships spending a lot of time with my dogs you know I, I never plan on stopping and spending time with them I love them very much within another five years I'll probably have another house by then maybe I'll have a girlfriend also I don't know if I'll be married or not by then or have any kids that'd be like crazy to think about it's possible but who knows but in five years I just hope to be a better version of myself stay on the grind doing what I'm doing now continue doing everything that I'm doing now and then evolve and do even more on top of what I'm doing now. Having fun, living an amazing life, and just grow as a person. Question from Smager, can I steal your tire? And the answer is no, Smager, you cannot steal my tire. It doesn't matter if you ask in the live stream, or in the videos, or in the Xbox Live chat party. No, sir, you cannot steal 
my tire. No, 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 no. And then the last question coming in from Nuked Shot Clock. What is your dream car question mark and can I be pinned question mark? So to answer the first part of your question, but to answer your first question, I actually said this in a weekly vlog a few weeks ago, but my dream car right now at the current moment would be a LaFerrari. And then honestly, like last weekend, whenever I went to that supercar meetup and I saw the Model X from Tesla, those were sick, bro, I'm not gonna lie. Those were pretty legit, so I wouldn't mind having one of them bad boys. And then to answer the second part of your question, can I be pinned? Well, based off your comment, I think you already know the answer to that. Yes, you can be pinned comment for the video that I uploaded yesterday, asking y'all to ask me questions for a Q&A. And I'll tell you what, if you comment on this video, New Shot Clock, you can be pinned here as well, sir. And I think actually what I'm gonna start doing, guys, is a cool way to get like some interaction in the comments section of videos, but from from now on, I'm gonna start thinking of a number between, we'll start off small, we'll do one in 10, okay? A number between one and 10, leave a comment on the video what your guess is. First person to guess the correct number, I'll pin their comment. So for example, if I'm thinking of a number and the number is seven, and Burr's guess is number six, and Nuke Shot Clock guesses number nine, and then Wana comes in and guesses number seven. Even though Burrs and Nuke Shot Clock commented before Wana, they didn't have the right number, Wana got the right number, which is seven, then I'll pin Wana's comment. And you can't comment 10 different comments saying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's not how it works. The first comment I see from your account, that'll be your answer. But anyways, you all, that's what we're here for this Q&A video. I'm not sure how many questions there were. I think I counted up to like 20, or maybe I counted up less than that. But all I know is I ran out of fingers, so I just kept going. Next question, another question, instead of one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So, that's going to do it here for this Q&A video. Second one I posted on my channel, link to the first one will be in the description box if you want to check it out. I uploaded a few months ago. I'll do another Q&A at some point in the future, so if you have any more questions, save them for that video. Or you can ask me in the comment section of any video, including this one or during live streams. I hope you all continue to have a fantastic rest of your weekend, but that's going to do it for now. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. New videos as I say here on my channel. I'm Gunners Live. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the live stream later tonight or another video. Maybe you should just sleep. Just sleep. Just sleep.